Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I have another uh, podcast for you and I have another special guest uh, from Indiana, Michael Peterson from Michael Peterson Backpacking. Check out his channel, but we're gonna get to know him a little bit. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Um, now, we, in all full disclosure, we actually did this interview before, but the, uh, the footage got um, corrupted, so we're gonna do it again. So, uh, <laughs> Tell me, Michael, how you got started backpacking, hiking, camping, and all that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure my story is like most other people. Um, my parents, that was our cheap recreation. And so as a child, we were all summer long camping places. And uh, so th for the love for outdoor stuff. Kind of being green. My parents, yeah, my yeah. parents. And then later, I think uh, after I got married, again, it was cheap entertainment. Right. <laughs> to go camping. So true. And so, yeah, I got, got my foot back into camping and now now the hiking and backpacking. So what would you say um, is your favorite trail in Indiana to do? I, I really like the, the uh, Turkey Run State Park and um, those deep, deep slots. Mm -hmm. Canyons, limestone sides, um, Gypsy Gulch up through there, and then yeah, that, that looks area. like something from another world. Yeah, it's uh, farm ground, farm ground, farm ground, and then right. well, Shades is yeah. right there too. Yeah, Shades and Turkey Run, and it's just a really unique place in Indiana. So, um, do you have a, like a bucket list item outside of Indiana that you want to, uh, or like a thing that you want to, a trail you want to do, or a place you want to see? I would really like to get up to Glacier sometime, Glacier yeah. National, um, but with their lottery system right. of getting the permit and the hike that you want, and then, uh, well, even again this year, they're doing a timed entry yeah. that you have to apply and let them know what day you're going to be there, and so... Um, I think there are a lot. It's very restrictive, but yeah, that would be if if everything could be worked out. I'd like to go to Glacier National sometime. Do you have a, like a major trail you want to do, like John Muir or any of those? I don't know that that long trails for me right now, with kids the ages I have them and things, it's it's not, it's really not practical. Yeah. For a long trail. Okay. Um, what is your favorite piece of gear that you currently have? <laughs> or can you You know, I just got a new Outdoor Vitals. I thought I would never do this, but I got a quilt. Mm -hmm. um, so a down, I got a new down quilt and I, I really do like it. I'm not convinced I like the quilt. But I do like the the, the down. The down. Yeah. I, it's it's it weighs half of what my old one does, and it packs down to probably a third. Yeah. Of yeah. what my old one does. Keeps you pretty so warm too. I'm pretty happy with it right now. Awesome, awesome. What? And the and and you know I I usually ask these questions to everybody, but like if if you were to give advice to a brand new person getting started in the outdoors whether it be with gear or whether it would be how to actually just get started and enjoy it what would be your best piece of advice hike cheap um, figure out what it is that you like about doing this mm -hmm. because that will change what you're buying some people like the camp and the campfire, mm -hmm. which if I go hiking, I very rarely ever have a campfire. Mm -hmm. So the camp chairs and that sort of thing is not something that I need. So find out what it is that you really like about it, whether it's the walking and the seeing things, and maybe it's the photography, maybe it's the camera equipment that you need. Right. Um, so yeah, find out what it is you like and then go cheap and just get out there and get it. Right and replace stuff later. Would you say that like building up the experiences is really the the, the, the best part? You start out cheap, but then you, you, you as you get more and more into it, then you uh, you learn it's really not about the gear. It's more about the... Knowing how to use yeah, gear. Right. But there is, there's a handoff between cheap and heavy. Always True. is. So if you're gonna be winter camping, cheap means a lot of weight on your back. It really does. Stay warm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's always that trade-off of 
Awesome. So what's uh, where are you headed next as far as your, your next adventure after after this Hoosier hang? Then the next that I know of, um, in July, my one of my boys and, and I are going to uh, Wind River Range in nice. Wyoming. And then in end of August, I've got a four-day plan in Yellowstone with a friend of mine from high school. And so... Are so those are on the, Are you going to backpack that? Yes. Are yeah, you? Yeah. The Black Can the Black Canyon area of the Yellowstone. So it goes up to Gardner area and then yeah, we'll have 4 days on the trails. So. Very nice. Cool. He also so he also does canoeing. Uh, check out his channel for some canoe trips that he's done. Um, and he's just uh, all around. I'd say you do all around stuff, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I got way too many hobbies. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, go over there and give him a sub. Tell him THG sent you. And he's not paying me to say this. Um, I might. <laughs> you might? Okay. I might. Well, anyway, thanks for being on the podcast. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And Again. Thanks for coming to the hang. Thank you. Um, and check him out. Always remember, get out there and explore, and we will see you later. Peace.